Our unnecessary dependence on fossil fuels means we now produce more CO2 than ever, causing climate change. Unless we act now to change the source of our energy, we face an uncertain future. Some believe nuclear power is the answer. We believe there is a more convenient solution. Focus must be on changing where we get our energy from and, most importantly, how we use it. Energy is used for heat, power and transport. Transport is largely reliant on fossil fuels, like oil. The rest of the energy consumed in the UK is in two forms, heat and electricity. Now, most heat is generated from gas. It gets pumped into central heating boilers or is used in industry, say, to fuel the furnaces at a steelworks. Some heat is also sourced from coal and oil. Electricity comes from coal, gas, renewable sources and nuclear. Nuclear is only a slice of our electricity and the current plans for new nuclear won't increase this. So it would only play a tiny role in cutting CO2. And yet, it's back on the agenda. Since the 1970s, the government has spent £13 billion on nuclear research and development. But this is dwarfed by the figure of £70 billion that the government will have to spend on cleaning up the nuclear waste that has been produced. Already, we're stuck with more than 2 million cubic metres of nuclear waste. That's enough to fill nearly 500 big bends. With the government spending £13 billion in research and development for the nuclear industry, add that to the £70 billion just to manage the current nuclear waste, and a mere £1 billion for research and development into renewables. Is it any wonder renewables haven't had the chance to reach their full potential? There hasn't been a nuclear reactor built in the Western world for 20 years. The only country building one now is Finland, and it's blocking sustainable options. The nuclear industry in Finland is arguing that you can have the cake and eat it too, that you could basically invest in more nuclear power capacity and at the same time invest in renewable energy sources and energy efficiency. But I think the empirical evidence so far is quite to the contrary. Finland's troubled nuclear reactor is years behind schedule and half a billion over budget. We have uh, chosen the nuclear path and that in fact has meant that we have neglected sustainable alternatives like energy efficiency and, and renewable energy sources. Nuclear power is a hindrance in the fight against climate change because it stops the development of other energy systems and other energy technologies such as the sun and the wind that are vital in the fight against global warming. The nuclear industry would like to build 10 new reactors in the UK. On past experience, this would cost somewhere between 20 and 40 billion pounds, with the first reactor not being completed before 2017 and the final one before 2025-2030. All that time, effort and money could be focused on a better solution. For a start, we could replace Hinkley and other old nuclear power stations that need to shut down soon with large-scale renewables, plugged straight into the grid. For example, wind, wave and tidal. Perfect for our windswept island. Projects like this at Green Park, where a single wind turbine is providing electricity for the offices, or maybe a retail park or a sports ground, are becoming increasingly common in the UK. Just a few years ago, I was responsible for building North Hoyle off the north coast of Wales. This was a, the first major offshore wind farm in the UK and had just 30 turbines. It provided electricity for a, a small town. Since then, we've seen half a dozen similar sized projects built all around the coast of the UK. But right now we're on the verge of proving that offshore wind can make a major contribution to the energy needs of this country. And projects such as the London Array in the Thames Estuary will provide enough electricity for hundreds of thousands of homes. Marine power is in an innovation stage. There, there is a number of different ways of generating electricity power from the marine environment. 
Um, waves are very important. You can harness the energy in the waves to make electricity. You can also harness tidal stream and other forms of energy that you can get from the ocean. Um, the WAPO project particularly is very important. It allows us to develop and deploy in the ocean environment new technologies to generate electricity from both wave, tidal streams. It's there and available and that's, that's great for developers like us. Here in the Bristol Channel there's enough raw energy to power the whole of Wales. And behind us is the first tidal turbine. It extracts energy from the tides and then feeds it into the grid. Now, ocean power could provide about 12% of the UK's electricity, and it could do so in the same time as it takes to build new nuclear power stations. If you combined all these renewables, they could provide twice as much as nuclear, and quicker. While these large-scale renewables are being built, we should be less wasteful with what we've got. Drax coal-fired power plant in North Yorkshire the biggest polluter in the UK at 23 million tonnes of CO2 a year. Worse, big power plants waste two-thirds of the energy they produce as lost heat up the cooling towers. We throw away the same amount needed to provide heat and hot water for every building in the country. That waste heat could be used to heat homes or for industry. All that's needed is for smaller power plants to be built closer to where the heat is used. These are called Combined Heat and Power Plants, or CHP. They're quiet and blend into the environment. Some local councils are catching on to the idea. In Southampton, this CHP unit heats homes and large businesses like John Lewis, Marks & Spencer, the BBC, hotels and council buildings. And in summer, even provides air conditioning. Many of the new homes which are now being built around the UK could quite easily be linked to a scheme like this. Both the corporates and the householders receive financial benefits. It's cheaper for them, uh, generally 5 to 10 percent cheaper than the alternatives. Along with heat, CHP could easily generate twice as much electricity as all the proposed nuclear reactors combined, and faster. CHP can reduce reliance on fossil fuels even more by using greener fuels such as waste wood or straw. In this brewery in Manchester, they'll use spent grain from beer making to fuel their CHP unit. Better efficiency is key. We must cut down on the energy we use. Forcing manufacturers to make only A-rated appliances and getting rid of standby buttons. The government says 8% of domestic electricity is used by appliances on standby. We must regulate for better insulation. Millions of buildings and homes are throwing heat away. The government should ban inefficient light bulbs. If the UK switched to energy efficient light bulbs, it would save two nuclear power stations worth of electricity each year. Climate change can be stopped, but reaching for nuclear power is like smoking cigarettes to keep the weight off. It's a dangerous distraction. There is enough raw potential in the wind, sun and ocean to provide energy for the UK many times over. With better efficiency, we need less energy in the first place. Add that to a cleaner, more secure system of renewable energy and combined heat and power plants. That's the convenient solution. Make it happen now.